We are in Spaceballs, and Spaceballs is making its first visit to Lake Lanier. This is one of my favorite lakes, dude. I love catching spots, and I love the way you fish for them, and that's actually what this video is gonna be about. I'm with one of my good friends, Tim, from Hammond's Fishing Center. Go check them out. They have all these custom, awesome swim baits. If you remember the sweet baits video we did, like cool herring mimickers, but one thing, Tim, always shows me up on. You know how like that guy has the golden stick with certain techniques and that? I can fish a Ned rig pretty good, but when it comes to wacky rig fishing, Tim is a magician, dude. An absolute magician, and there's a good reason for that. You know, they fish them deep here, they fish them shallow, they fish them in clear water, they fish them in stained water. But there's one thing that I can guarantee, you are making some, some god-awful mistakes when it comes to wacky rigging. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get with Tim, and he's gonna break down exactly how a master throws and fishes a wacky rig. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let's go talk to Tim. Hey, Tim from Hammonds here. We're gonna teach you a couple of mistakes that you are most likely making when you're throwing a wacky rig in open water. Uh, one thing that's been really easy for me to teach people is to not set the hook. When you're using a round bend style hook like this, little tiny hook like this on a Cinco, you don't wanna be setting the hook, all right? You want to have your rod tip up and you just wanna reel when you feel like you have a fish. It's really that simple, but I see so many people making that mistake. I actually watched Mikey for the first hour this morning make a hundred of those mistakes. <laughs> and I set the hook again, but... <laughs> All right, another quick tip that I see a lot of people doing a wacky wig wrong is they're just throwing it out there and they're just shaking it. They're just shaking it and reeling their slack up. And that's fine if that's you know what you want to do but one of the things that we've been really good on lately and catching a lot of bass doing lately is throwing it out there letting it hit the bottom dragging it a little bit reeling it up really fast for about three or four turns and killing it and that gets us that drop over and over in the same cast that we're really looking for another quick tip i would really like to talk about is using heavy weights for your necos or your wacky rigs I don't like them. I throw them out. We're using 1 16th. We're using light. We're getting most of our bites on that slow fall, that wiggle, that shake. That's where we're getting our bites. So if you really want to take your wacky rig game up just a little bit, go with your lighter weights, pack some patience, and go from there. You're going to catch more fish. All right, guys. So typically when I'm on Lanier, Lanier is packed full of bait. Um, I don't always just throw green pumpkins, but I will throw green pumpkins when I'm going deeper. I just feel like that presence and that shadow and it just it sets off a little better. But when these fish get up in that 20 and 15 and 10, I tend to go with more a shad color and like a watermelon moon dust. It's got a nice little belly, green back. It looks like a shad. When it's shimmy falling, it's just throwing off all kinds of scale looking patterns in the water. And I get a lot of bites that on a shad type Cinco versus a green pumpkin Cinco this time of year. Um, this is another tip that could definitely up your wacky rig gaming, just throwing something that's imitating these shad that are just pulling up the spawn after the bass have spawned. So one thing I see a lot of people doing wrong is they're bringing their hook, when they're neko rigging, they're bringing their hook through the wrong way. So a lot of people will go towards the weight with their hook tip and that's just the wrong way. You wanna go hook away from your weight, just like this, all right? And <clears throat> what that's gonna do is when you're dragging it like this, your hook point is ready to go in the roof of their mouth, which if we were doing it the other way when you're dragging it, you're catching every piece of grass, you're catching every branch and every tree. That's not the way you wanna do it. You wanna have your hook point away from the weight, just like that. That way when you're dragging it and that fish grabs it, that hook is right in the roof of their mouth. All right, so one more thing that really irks me when I'm fishing with my daughter and uh, fishing with people that just don't know about boat control. Boat control is massive when you're fishing a wacky rig, especially on a day like today when on the main lake you got you know 10 to 15 mile an hour winds, you got to set your boat up properly that way you don't have that massive view in your line. So when you're wacky rig fishing, these fish will swallow this bait so quickly that you don't need this big U in your line. So boat control is key. We're gonna pull up and we're gonna put ourselves either in the wind or against the wind where we can fish off the back of the boat. 
90% of our fish were caught off the back of the boat today just for that simple fact. We knew the fish were where they were sitting. We were able to make that cast. We are able to fill them as soon as they bite. It's an instant hookup. You're not chasing it. They're not swallowing it. That's just a really big tip when you're fishing a wacky rig, especially in the wind. Keep your line taunt. None of that you and your line. Go from there and it's gonna, you're going to catch a lot more fish with it. Well, my homies, are you making those mistakes? I am. <laughs> There's no doubt. And I made some of them today, but, but that's what's cool with knowing guys who are, are so good at specific techniques and just have so much experience. But Tim is a great teacher, and that's what makes it really cool with Hammond's Fishing is he's a great teacher, but he owns a bait shop, right? Nice little bonus. So he kind of has all these products. He knows what's good. He knows what works. And check it out. Here's the reality. If you guys want to get set up and try some wacky rigging, Tim's a good buddy. Give him a call. Call the shop. They can get you all set up. Hammond'sFishingCenter.com. But I need to get back to fishing. I'm going to go throw that wacky wig some more. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hopefully, we'll see you back from Lake Lanier catching some mega, mega monster spot upon us.